Hey everybody, it's Baron here. Today we're going to be going over um, buybacks and their prices and how it works when you put them in your buybacks because there's a lot of misconceptions around this topic. Um, I was have been involved in a discussion in the concierge forum about this. So there, like I said, there has been a lot of mis, um, like deceiving information. So what I really want to touch on is that people seem to think that if you melt a ship or a ship pack that in your buybacks when it goes up in price it will go up in price as well i want to let you know that that is not the case that is not the case at all if you melt a ccu that ccu will go up in price now it is 528 dollars for me because i have taxes on top of that obviously if i was to pay with it for credits it wouldn't be so what i really want to touch on with you guys um again is that price of a, of a CCU in your buybacks will go up. The price of a actual ship or package will not go up. So if you would had done at Invictus what a lot of people have done and what I have advised to people, you would be in a better spot. So my advice to a lot of people is that during Alien Week, Fleet Week um, and Invictus, IAE, Get a ship that you want, get a couple of ships that you want, obviously it takes 24 hours. Get those ships, buy them as an individual pack, wait for that allocated time to go up and then melt that said ship or pack. Okay, do it multiple times to a lot of ships that you want like Crucibles, Polaris, Perseus, Merchantman, Hull ships, anything that you really want and melt it. The reason I say this is because they don't go up in price. You're going to keep it at that price for that entirety of time. There are people with the UAE expiration, I think it's $29.48, and they have saved so much money because it was worth like six, seven hundred dollars And now it's worth like $1,000, $1,100 or so. Now, the reason I say that is because people have made a smart choice there um, with melting those packs. Now, obviously, they will buy them back later on. They might even buy them back and gift it to someone exchange for money um, but obviously it's not going to go up in price now the reason being is that obviously it's sitting there at that set price it's in I honestly can't explain it properly but it doesn't go up in price a ship package a ship doesn't go up in price the CCU may go up in price like this one here to Santioc to the Andromeda that will go up in price. I've got there, there, that there for the sake of having that there. Maybe for ship week when I buy Santoc, uh, Santoc, yeah, and then I want to go to an Andromeda and then keep CCUing from there, obviously. So in the retrospective of things, it is a good choice to put stuff in your buybacks. Now, in this topic, people wanted to get uh, certain information. Now, a lot of people here says ship pack ships and packages do not change in your buyback. You won't pay more. Only melt to CCU prices change in the buyback. So, like I said, only the CCUs will change. So, this guy here can still buy a $250 Merchantman, a $165 Starfare, and a $325 Orion from the original prices. Now, that's why I say to do this, because if you have the original prices, like the Raylan, um, the Scorpius, and then you melt them, you're obviously going to make a lot of money for a CCU chain there so keep that in your mind and hopefully you take something away from this because obviously having that there to go off of is a great help but I hope this sort of helped you in your little um, idea of you know if you want to melt a ship pack or a ship it will stay that price it won't go up in price it will always be that same price it will never change and obviously with your buyback tokens it you only lose that token if you use store credits if you do a buyback with real money like if it was a war bond or whatnot it obviously won't go towards that buyback token so just keep that in mind as well um but yeah guys i hope this helped you there's something i've really wanted to do and talk about because it's really bothered me over time but i hope you guys enjoy being barren peace see you in the verse